I S U P K. I call out a walk. I pray this devil died and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Call me out your holler. Call me out your holler. Call me out your holler. I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Shalom. This is Officer Madabal of the ISUPK, Louisiana, under Commanding General Yohanna. If you got any questions or you need any information, you can contact ISUPK at 504-516-9455. If you got any other questions or need any other information, you can go to ISUPK.com. We got free online classes every Tuesday through Friday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern, and every Saturday is the Sabbath class from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. And today, we're going to go into the Bible to see that the so-called blacks in America are the real Jews that the Bible speaks about. We're going to start in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people saying keep all the commandments which i command you this day so did he tell everybody across the whole earth to keep these commandments no he told the children of israel next we're going to go to deuteronomy 28 and 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all the nations of the earth. So what he said, he gonna set us high above all the nations of the earth if we was to do these commandments. The children of Israel, not everybody, we're gonna be set high above all the nations. 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So right here, Moses letting people know, the children of Israel know, that curse is going to come upon us if we didn't keep the law, statutes, and the commandments, which the Most High commanded us to do. Verse 16, Cursed shall thy be in the city, and cursed shall thy be in the field. So what, what happened to us when we came here in America, when the white man had us in slavery? Wasn't we cursed in the field? Wasn't we cursed in the city? Didn't they call us all kind of bywords? Didn't they beat us? Didn't they destroy us? Had us picking cotton all day? Verse 32, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall no might be in thy hand. When our sons and our daughters getting beaten, slaved, walking around all day, looking for help, hurting for each other, we didn't have any might in our hand to stand up and fight back, because they were killing us and hanging us and destroying us. We were scared to stand up. Verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he destroy thee. Didn't they have chains on us, chains around our neck, beating us, destroying us? Who did that? The so-called white man. Why? Because we didn't want to listen. 
we didn't want to obey the commandments. We gave up the most high to love the so-called white man. Verse 49, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Who uses the eagle symbol? The so-called white man. Ever since Rome, the dollar signs, they love that eagle symbol. All their commercials, eagles, eagles, they love it. We didn't understand what they were speaking to us because we spoke the language of the Hebrew. Verse 50, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor shall favor to the young. They didn't care about the old or the young. If you was a baby, if you was a young man, if you was an old woman, they didn't care. They beat us, they beat us and destroyed us, no matter what age you was. They raped, tormented us, chopped off our heads, hung us from trees, laughed at us, made fun of us. They didn't care. Verse 64, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shall serve other gods, which neither thy father, no, neither Salaki, which neither thy nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So what the Most High did, scattered us across all the earth, among all the people. And what we do, we run around worshiping the white Jesus, run around worshiping that wooden cross, run around bowing down to their statues of Mary and the white Jesus and all those white fake angels and all those white fake disciples. We bow down and our fathers didn't know them because we worship the Most High. We knew Christ was black. We knew all the disciples were black. Verse 68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So what the Most High said, we was going to go into Egypt again. What is Egypt? Egypt only means bondage. That's slavery. And the first time we went to Egypt, we walked there. We didn't need ships. But this time we was coming to the so-called America, which spiritually is Egypt, through ships. Didn't that happen through slavery? What he said right here? And you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Wasn't we sold unto our enemies? By those stinking Africans, they sold us for buying men and buying women to the so-called white man. And no man shall buy you. That means no man's going to redeem you. No man's going to come save you out of this captivity. And as we come back to the lost statues of the Most High, our King Yahweh, our Christ, is going to be the one to save us. But we all got to come back. We got to be one nation. 12 tribes, the nation of Israel, and stand strong. Next, we're going to go into the book of Revelation. Let's see what Christ had to say. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. And I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thy are rich. Christ said he know the works, our tribulation, our poverty. We the ones broke. We the ones working just so we could pay bills and still struggling. Christ noticed, but we rich. We rich through the most high. We work more than gold. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, but are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So who the ones were saying they Jews before we woke up and realized that we the real Jews, the so-called white man, the devils, Satan's children. Christ said this out of his mouth. He knew that. It's time for you to know and wake up. It's time for you to come back to the truth. It's time for you to get up in the ISUPK and start doing this work. And with that, I got the ISUPK security announcements. ISUPK security announcements. Well, the ISUPK started out at 1 West 
125th Street, Harlem, New York. Rule for new brother or sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head of the school to speak to the brother. So like you must get permission from the head to speak to the brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother or sister will court each other. After six months period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Ties, which is a commandment, can be found in the book of Numbers, chapter 18, verse 21, and the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8 through 10. Ten means my Isherah in the Hebrew. 10% of every penny increase the Lord give you, give to the teacher. Priest fund, free will offering for priests, not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like. If anyone wants to become a trooper in the school, start wearing all black, boots, shirt, pants, and head scarf. And with that, I'm going to say shalom. When I days I work hard on the job, I come cross y'all, cross y'all, still like I'm a criminal. My manhood.